I think sting journalism has its place and there are unavoidable necessities sometimes. But what is being practiced in this country as sting journalism and Google search are both very lazy journalisms and uh, I think no hidden camera can replace the integrity of cultivating trust and winning our people's faith and, and, and giving them the confidence to hand over sensitive files to you. About somebody misusing me, that's a question. So every day I keep, every, almost every second I keep getting documents from anonymous sources, political agents, uh, various kinds of people. But I have my own certain, uh, we, we all have a certain uh, uh, professional rules to verify. So if I, if I get a government document from a third party, not from the official who is handling it, and if I can't verify it myself, I don't touch it. Because of which a very famous minister of the present government hates me. Because he is a master of sending documents to officers. So when I was in Times of India, I would keep telling my bosses I won't touch it because I can't verify it. Right? So that's a very, that's a professional thing. I don't, and, and, and mind you, if you want to play the role of a journalist, not as a propagandist, and to be adversarial, then you can't be thinking like a politician that I'm a popular or not. I'm not. I, I should be the least popular man on this earth. Because I am standing up and speaking against the majoritarian bullshit that's going around. Right? So I don't want your popularity. I want, do you agree with my facts? You may not. I've been called an ISA agent when Kargil war was going on, but it took 10 days for the army to accept that what I said was right. So I've gone through that. I've been asked to apologize to parliament for breach of privilege. I said, no, I haven't breached your privilege. You put me to jail. So I'm saying that it is a process that goes on. This is nothing new. What's happening today is unfortunately, some of those famous television journalists and other journalists who used to call me up early morning asking for documents of the story that I've done and would flash it on channels are today, they do not, they haven't called me for last three years. And mind you, they will call me back in two years, three years down the line when this government goes down or when their fortunes change. I'm not in that business. If my story doesn't go through, I'll keep quiet. I have a folder in my Gmail called the morgue, which is a mortuary of my dead stories. I'll keep storing it there. I will bring it out. If Indian media doesn't publish it, I will help the foreign media to publish it. Wherever it is, the facts needs to come out because ultimately every corruption, whether it is the perfumed oil that our rulers buy for their daily baths, or whether it is the designer dress or the chashma that they use, or the other kind of money that they splurge, everything is snatching away the bread from the poor. And I don't think I need to be much bothered about being accused of being manipulated. Yes.